hello Aries, welcome to your intuitive message, your intuitive reading for the time that it is that you're listening to it. This reading is filmed in conjunction, in alignment with the astrological and intuitive predictions that I've shared on my YouTube channel, which I will link down below. However, please make sure that you are checking in with the current astrological transits because nine times out of ten, there is some major messages that you need to hear and it's always good to know what the energy of the planets are in general so first things first aries i can just see that spirit is guiding you right now to be very aware very aware of your um i'm gonna say direction but it's almost like what you are wanting to align into so Direction is where you choose to put your focus, where you choose to set your sights, right? And with the Seven of Pentacles here just jumped out, Ace of Swords reverse just jumped out, the Fool card is here upright, and Two of Cups. Spirit is really calling you to be very observant and aware of what you are setting your sights on, who and what you are setting your sights on. Um, I'm really getting a strong sense, and I don't have it here. I'm surprised. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hang man. I'm getting a really strong sense of Seven of Swords energy. Sometimes with Seven of Swords, it can be very toxic, manipulative, draining, and we don't see things for what they are. This is one of the reasons why I feel like the Ace of Swords is reversed at the very bottom of the boat. That's what I'm going to call this. It's something that spirit wants you to observe, something that spirit wants you to see as you are stepping into this new venture in your life. And you are definitely encouraged to put yourself out there. You're definitely encouraged to make new advancements is what it is that I'm hearing. So you're encouraged to um, start a new fresh cycle within your life. Absolutely. But spirit is saying that make sure that what you are setting your sights on is actually what you want and not from a wounded, traumatized space. Now, I know that that sounds crazy, but the thing is with the Fool card here, my loves, is that it is the card absolutely of fresh beginnings, of being naive, of being innocent, but it's also about letting go of the baggage of the past and not carrying it with you into your future and into your present connections. And the fact that Seven of Pentacles card is here reversed, it's showing me, and the Ace of Swords, it's showing me that there is a truth, a message, a revelation that Spirit really wants you to work on hearing and seeing. Knight of Swords is here reversed, you guys. Eight of Pentacles reversed, confirming the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is clearly telling me that there is something that you might not want to deal with, and, and especially with Four of Swords here and the Justice card reversed, something that you might have done or something that, is, that has happened um, with someone or with something that might have uh, tightened you up, might have bound you up, and created conflict, created uh, dysfunction, imbalance, heartache, suffering, disappointment, um, frustration, and I'm seeing because of that, in that moment, in that lesson, you, you've you decided to launch yourself into a new venture, which is absolutely wonderful. Don't get me wrong, Spirit is saying we love your, uh, your, your, ad, ad, your, we, ad, we love and we admire your courageousness and your desire to um, be ambitious, to be determined, and to not allow this to get you down. At the same time, though, there's still something that needs to be seen, heard, addressed, dealt with that I'm still feeling like you have to, yeah, I'm still feeling like you need to not sit with it, but learn from it. With the Fool card, it keeps bringing me back to the Fool card, you guys. It's This is a clear message on walking away from something, even as a cycle is ending, completely walking away from something um, and just trying to get a fresh start. Sometimes, as it, it may physically look like you're taking a fresh start, it may physically look like you're starting over and that you are free of the past and free, but the reality is, is that there's certain things that 
certain truths to certain messages or maybe I don't want to say closure because for some of you guys sometimes the the seeking for the closure can be health unhealthy by itself because you're looking for an explanation or understanding as to why things happened the way that they did or why things played out the way that they did and trying to understand it from another person's perspective or trying to hear and connect with it what you're walking away from or what you're trying to get closure from just kind of in, enter like binds you up hanged man here so this is a different there's two different ways that this message is coming through so we are spirit is not i'm saying we spirit is not encouraging you to bind yourself and hang yourself up in trying to connect with something or some someone that you are breaking away from this could be a job a lifestyle a, an old habit an old path you know because energy always has a way of recycling itself <laughs> It always has a way of recycling itself. And with the Fool card, it's saying as you start on this new venture and as you take this breath of fresh air and as you are trying and hopeful for this next venture and this next journey within your life, we don't want you to take the baggage of the past with you in the form of t you know, relationships that you've let go of or things that you've let go of or things that you realize weren't working for you. But we do want you to kind of see the root of it and see the lesson in it and not ice it out but get a general a better understanding of why things were the way that they were and this also requires a lot of self-reflection five of swords is here my loves and five of swords is where we want to especially with two of cups. I mean, let's call a spade a spade. There's definitely a connection to people and things that you might be trying to walk away from. You might be really trying hard to walk away from. Um, but the thing is, is that there's a level of consciousness that needs to, like clear consciousness that needs to kind of surface, you know, like, and that means that you want to be clearly aware of why you chose this situation, why you were attracted to it, why you wanted it, why it was the way that it was, why it turned out the way that it was. And you have to look at how you also contributed to um, this, you needing to have a fresh start, a new cycle. And you being able to see how you contributed to it and how they contributed to it. Because this is definitely giving me relationship vibes here, I'm not going to lie to you. Yep, Seven of Cups. It's going to help you to better... Oh, when the emperor was here, it's going to help you to better have better clarity and to have a clear understanding of like your consciousness, meaning your own perception, your own awareness, so that we're not repeating same past obstacles, same past cir ah, darn, I knew that was going to jump out. Same past circumstances. Spirit is saying, look, three of swords is here. Ten of swords is here the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. They want you and they are going to help you to say goodbye to vicious cycles of hurt and healing that are unfair to your energy. And they are going to give you a better advantage through your advantage, through, your, through how you're able to see things so that you are able to stabilize yourself have renewed fresh passion and excitement and enthusiasm for life, but not um, putting energy into things that don't necessarily are going to pay off, especially with the Eight of Pentacles card here and the Seven of Pentacles card here and the Five of Swords. Sometimes it almost feels like Aries, when you're ready to put yourself in a new venture or put yourself in a new thing or you're ready to pursue something, um, you you really do put your all and energy into it and when you start to see that it's not working out some of you guys either grind even harder or you completely abandon ship and just burn out um but spirit is trying to stop that from happening and the way to do that is by seeing 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 clearly seeing the the problem um and i just keep hearing you know just being very conscious and aware of being very 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 aware of what you 
are connecting to, what you are aligning with, what you are trying to harmonize with. Um, also, I just heard Spirit says, you know, honestly, take your time. Yeah, Five of Wands reversed, Queen of Wands upright. Um, I'm getting a big sense of protecting your resources. Okay, Ten of Swords reversed, Page of Cups, the Moon card here reversed, and the Tower card. I just feel like something here hasn't complete, this, this cycle hasn't completely ended. If it's not something that hasn't totally ended in your life, um, like maybe you're fighting in something or fighting for something that requires a lot of your energy, or you're ending out of something where it required a lot of your energy, but the lingering subconscious uh, memory of it or the energy of that is still in your in your aura so or maybe you have one foot in this you know fighting this battle or fighting for what you want and another foot out being like I gotta leave I gotta let this go I gotta leave this behind um, and now we have the high priestess card here the upright the king of swords reversed, and the hermit card reversed so this is again information that spirit is trying to help you to see um and it's very subconscious especially with the high priestess here it's very subconscious 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 it's below your consciousness it's below what you're aware of so spirit is healing that for you it's meant to be a learning lesson this is okay either it has to do with a male a masculine figure or it's the masculine energy within yourself um, the feelings of being protected stabilized Wow we have the anchor card here we have the Sun card here we have the tower card here so it's feelings of abandonment like masculine energy being abandoned you maybe feeling like you always have to do things by yourself you feeling like you're not safe or you having to prove yourself or someone in, and just burning getting burnt by that energy and also you are not only is it within you but you're manifesting it into your your reality so spirit is saying that as you're starting on this new venture and as you're taking this fresh start we encourage you within that but we also want you to see and observe how you might have subconsciously attracted this into your life um, subconsciously attracted it in so that this lesson was able to you know give it an opportunity to heal itself so that the Queen of Wands aka you doesn't have to repeat these past patterns and these past past problems and obstacles in fact it gives you a better fighting chance so I'm seeing a lot of journaling here too as well you guys and dream work these are the gifts that are coming to you through your dreams and through your journaling just by getting it all out of your head and kind of rewriting the story of that and also I'm seeing a lot of fire energy burning that story burning that after you've learned the lesson you guys actually physically burning it and when you do it do it safely this is a um, very magical process of turning one energy into the next and inviting in newness into your life and I do see lots of lots of self-love here I do see lots of lots of abundance I see lots of growth and fertility for you of course all right my loves I hope this message makes sense and it resonates please let me know down in the comments make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you next week bye